Islands, Wazi Makra.
walking, miscuing it and caught by the Ms. Raja. Scorecard and it's slow progress, but it's 
it's a, it's a tough battle with some high quality bowling.
four, and Gower goes for 27. Well, David Gower will be disappointed with this. It really wasn't a wicket-taking ball. It was short. There, for it on the offside, bottom edge, down to the stumps. Disappointment for David Gower. Done all the hard work. Struggled early on. Just really got going now. Timing the ball superbly. And In the air, and that's safe. It's just behind Dickie Bird and Squelle. Just the element of risk in that there was a man at Squelle.
a great bowler by the way he gets out top class batsmen and the way he polishes off tail enders. And Devon Malcolm comes out to bat now. He didn't play it headingly. So the last time uh, he's been walking out there with bat and pads, he was the centre of massive controversy.
short cover for the slightly lofted drive. About oh, 18, 20 paces from the batsman. Almost behind Robin Smith. That's a waste.
before he leant into it and just helped it exquisitely through the covers.
such a bad ball, just a touch of width, just a touch short of a length, but uh, England the ball very tightly to him on the hole.
some, but he slid it with the spin, then back through extra cover. Any batsman would have been proud of that. Yeah. 
team. Michael 
Everton was looking to play it at one stage. That's a lovely shot. No lack of confidence there. And we saw what a, a spell he wove on Thursday.
Hammersmith is uh, going to play his own attacking game. Yes, that is a beautiful shot. Robin Smith was very strong in that area. Shuffles that left foot. Didn't do a 
great deal the ball, it's just the angle of coming left arm around. 162 for seven, Robin Smith 73 not out. And that's four. picking up the runs, every run counts and surely that one Robin Smith playing very delicately
Smith just 16 short of a century and he stuck it out there under great difficulties and against some superb bowling. The tail wasn't able to do so. Once Lewis went, then they all went. 174 and that left Pakistan needing just two to win. Their opening batsman as usual, Ramis Raja and Amir Sohail. Unusually, Graham Gooch tossed the ball to Mark Rampakash. He's going to bowl to Amir Sohail. series and as uh, uh, 
Guti said about two bowlers, I agree with him because Vakar and Vaseem, uh, they prove they are the best in the world and obviously whoever have these kind of bowlers in the team, they can win the test match uh, anytime. How do they swing the old ball? Well, uh, I'm not going to disclose but uh, I mean not uh, Vaseem or uh, Vakar, you must have seen all the Pakistani bowlers, they know how to swing the ball, you must have seen Imran Khan and uh, Sadfaz Nawaz because we play in uh, cricket in different conditions and in Pakistan conditions are different and they know how to swing the ball. Sure. Graham, now you've got some one internationals to come, looking forward to those? Oh well, yeah, we're two up and there's three to play and uh, you know, obviously we want to win the series so uh, we're looking forward to you know getting stuck in there and having a good three matches so uh, we're disappointed about losing but uh, we're looking forward to the next round of matches. A last thought from you Javid as we congratulate you. Uh, which of the England team do you pick out for exceptional mention? I mean, uh, Obviously, Graham Good, he played the best inning uh, throughout the series. And they played well, uh, but unfortunately, our bowler was too good.